Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to propagate grapevine and now is the summer, usually usually it's known that uh, grapevine is propagated in winter, uh, closer to spring and the vine is going to look like that before it woke up, then um, you're going to have like a small um, small buds coming off and at that point you want to get the older ones and that's that's all you're gonna have actually the brown ones older ones and if you're gonna do it in uh, spring you and you don't know which one you're taking then you would go just uh, or you know exactly which one you're taking so you would get one um, one branch cut at 45 degrees like this and then get rid of all the but all of it they're gonna be starting to sprout but you want to get rid of them and then make sure that you have at least three knots one two three you can get four so cut it like that and that's your cutting that you're gonna be starting to use for the uh, for planting if you're doing it in the summer a lot of people don't do it in the summer because it's known that in summer or at least people say that in summer they don't do well I tried and it, they do well in summer and in the summer the privilege of that doing it in the summer that you know which, which variety you're getting if you're getting it from somebody else and you know what the grapes are and uh, the good time to do it would be June, <clears throat> July, August and you would want to get the green one you don't want to get the brown one brown didn't work but the green ones the new shoots the thicker they are the better but that's that's what you want to get and but you're going to use the same technique you would want to get three buds uh three um uh, three nuts one two three and here here where the leaves are going to be coming out the buds we want to get rid of those also because they they're not going to be helping us at this point we want to get rid of those one two three so we're going to keep four there. So that's how you're going to do it and I use honey instead of a rooting hormone and for this purpose for grapes it works fine it works perfect for me so I keep using it and I use it many times works very well so you get um, you, you dip the end part the you want to make sure that the part that you're using is the part that was actually growing the way it was growing that's that's the way you want to um, plant it so that's that's your cutting and you just put it in the ground and press it down and about in a month month and a half it should have roots and um, you would want to use few cuttings just in case because some of them may not sprout or my, may not get the roots and you want to make sure you have I'll use this over here uh, right there and then you want to and then you want to mark which which variety you're using and when you put it in and that's going to take about a month, month and a half if you want to get more roots then you keep it more more time and if let's say a month and a half pass by and you don't have any um, any leaves yet like on this one I have leaves on that one I don't have leaves it doesn't mean that it's not doing well or it doesn't mean that it's not doing anything so and this one doesn't have leaves so what I would want to do I would want to check all of them and how you want to check you just start pulling and see if it's it's if it's holding to the ground or not because if it doesn't hold to the ground it would just come out straight if it has some something going on this one is not holding that well this one is not I feel that no there's something there Hold on. Okay, there are roots here, right here. That's the roots, and this one was planted 
month and a half ago, and it's summer now. So, and there are the roots. They don't have the long roots yet, but that's that's the that's the roots. And so I'll keep it longer and uh, get. Then I would replant it. So basically, now I would replant it to the bigger container because I see the roots are there already, and I don't want to keep it in a small, small, uh, small container now. So you would want to uh, replant it and keep it replanted for at least a y two years before you plant it in the ground, so it gets stronger and gets more roots. So let's check another one. Those were planted earlier, but I didn't have time to replant them, and. I was gonna make a video for the purpose of video. I didn't. This one has something in it. Let me see. Okay, those are very nice roots. Here. That was planted about three months ago and it has very nice roots. So has this one. This one also was planted three months ago. It has lots of roots, I guess. It's not coming out. Okay. So it came out like this. And now we can see there are lots of roots in here. Here. There are lots of roots. I can open it for you. And show it. But that's that's what you want. This one took. They were this and that were planted at the same time. So this one has roots, but they're not as many as that one has. And this one has lots of roots right here. So I'm just gonna replant it now into the bigger container and um, keep it from that point on. I'm gonna keep it for about two years in a pot and then plant it into the ground. So this one that was planted a year and a half ago and technically, by the end of the fall, I would want to replant it now. It's, it's already uh, big enough and it's strong enough. It has lots of roots and it's uh, really strong uh, vine, so I can replant it now. And it looks really healthy and great. So if you like my videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and see you at my next videos.